Hello skiers, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back in the Alps with Transport Fever. Uh, you join me just outside the town of Ennit Bergen where as mentioned in the last episode we are waiting for the end of the year which is now. Uh, in order to, uh, to pay the loan down a little um, uh, ahead of the year. So I've rolled it through to the end of 1861 and over the course of the year we've made 408,000 in profit uh, which will allow me to repay one chunk of my loan. Uh, actually, what's my maximum at the moment? It's going to be 10, isn't it? Yeah, right. I've got a 10 million maximum right now, uh, and I'm prepared to spend every last penny of that uh, in setting up a, a goods line of some description, But because uh, that's, that's what I've got a real bee in my bonnet about setting up, because uh, it's less about paying it back uh, in the fullness of time, which, of course, it will do. Uh, it's more about paying it back quickly so that uh, I can then reuse that money um, to go and make uh, uh, more money. Uh, we do have a new train, and that's always fatal. So the Borsig and the Bavarian car have been introduced, and uh, and frankly, that's that's almost too too tempting to ignore. How's that for an opening shot? Loving it. Uh, yeah. So today, uh, I don't know. We've got uh, six million in loan available to us. Uh, the question is. What am I going to do with it? Uh, and, you know, in order to make this look good, let's do that. Uh, so why not stick around until after the intro and you'll find out what we are, indeed, going to do with it. Right, before we go spending, I thought it might be worthwhile having a look at a couple of charts uh, just to see how the progress is going so far. Uh, first, we'll have a look at line profitability, which is always good for a laugh. Um, so, Wolfen, uh, Wolfenschießen to uh, Ennitzbergen is uh, well, it's, it's currently leading the way with 201,000 uh, in profit, uh, followed by Locarno Burn, uh, which is, remember, running two trains instead of one. Uh, and actually, it's coming in, given greater capacity, it's coming in making less money. Worth noting. Uh, we've then got wherever the hell that is, uh, Van Stavantuts to, it's just over the other side of the road, just go and look. Uh, Vitz now, there you go, to Ingebol, Um which is, I mean, it's it's a recent addition, uh, and it is starting to, starting to pick up a little bit. Where's the train? Because I'd quite like to stick another carriage on it. Uh, 33 waiting. I think my capacity is actually quite a bit lower than that. Yeah, there we go, capacity of 16. Uh, which is full right now. The other end has still got another 18 waiting. Uh, so, I want, yeah, I'm definitely going to stick another carriage on it. The question is, do we take the money or do we just... Yeah, no, we'll just... We'll, we'll burn this run, go straight to the depot and add another carriage now uh, in order to make that earn more uh, as we progress through today's gripping adventure. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get that done, shall we? Right, so I upped the loan again in order to make enough money to, to buy this immediately. Uh, uh, coaches are not as cheap as, as one might hope. Um, but there we go. We've, we've now got our third coach on there, so that will make a little bit more cash. And actually, given that this is fully custom, I'm going to see if it takes to uh, having alternate paint colours. Oh, it does. That's, that's good show. Oh, let's put a, let's put a, you know, a menacing grey on there. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the menacing grey, as I'm sure you know. There we are. That's it. That looks, that looks pretty sharp, uh, rather than anything else. Uh, good. Right. So that will continue to make money over the course of this year, and we'll uh, we'll check back in on it later. Um, but uh, where are we going to go now? The choices, really. Uh, and I think we've we've poked around enough to to kind of get a feel for for what our options are. Um, and the, the difficulty we've got right now is that carts are so slow uh, that they're really they're just not practical for uh, for shifting any any volume of goods around. So I need a train line that runs from the fields here out to the. Uh, or do I? Actually, that's going to be quite expensive to do that. If I did, if instead uh, we took a, a street. Uh, and what's going on there? The town has obviously tried to build something at some point. Uh, if we took a street across here, this is, this is purely hypothetical, you understand. And it's half a million quid's worth of bridge for a medium street. A small street, even that's 400,000. 
We need the shortest possible route. That's, actually, this looks pretty good. Uh, what are we talking? Ah, now you see that's a bit better. Uh, quite why it's it's opted to have a, a hump in the middle of it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, right, a hundred thousand will get me over the other side of the river, uh, and that will that will do for now. We should try and make this tall enough so that uh, so that shipping can get underneath. Uh, for when we add that. So we're talking 200,000 for that, unless we bulldoze this road back a bit, which I've now done. Uh, and then we try going from there. Now, a building will be removed currently. So maybe I move it along a little bit further. Uh, now, this is going to, I, this is going to be a short-term fix because we're, we, we, won't ever, we won't get the capacity um, that, that, uh, that we need by... Uh, I'm using a bridge. 300,000. 300, well, we had it cheaper uh, earlier on. And if we're, doing, if we're talking temporary with this, then surely that's the, that's the smart thing to do, is, is go properly temporary and delete it later on and replace it with a bigger one. All right, hold on then. Hold on then. 300,000. Uh, right, put the road back in. Just another one of those occasions where the option to undo would have come in handy. There we are, 100,000 for a bridge, more or less. Uh, we do, do we even need to keep the speed up? No, we don't need to keep the speed up. Uh, we'll take the cheapest of the cheap. Yeah, we'll go completely cheap with it. There we are. Uh, right, so my thinking here is, uh, is that we, um, we train uh, for now betwixt hither and, and yon. Uh, and then we cart it the rest of the way uh, and, uh, and deliver to Briennes primarily. Is this going to be extraordinarily expensive? Actually, we can, from here, we can also run to, uh, to Sarnen. Sarnen? Don't disappear while I'm trying to figure out how you pronounce your name. Sarnen, right. Yeah, we can also deliver to Sarnen as well. So that should be, well, I know, I wouldn't want to make a guess, actually. Uh, but you know, there's a there's a fighting chance that uh, that this will make uh, money enough to be worthwhile. Now we'll ease this road out uh, a little at a time, because if you plow on, you know, just just headlong without any any real due care and attention, you end up paying for well so much extra money in in landscaping uh, beyond anything else. Uh, right and. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna motor through every bit of cash we've got by doing this, but it should be hopefully worth the uh, worth the effort. Uh, getting goods running is uh, is very useful early on. It really can uh, accelerate your uh, your progress in the early stage of the game. Uh, let's have a look at what we got here. All right, twenty thousand or so. What if about sticking it on the other side? Forty thousand or so. That's more, isn't it? Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Something like that would do just fine. Uh, and then we need another one over here. And we're delivering food, so that means we're looking for commercial, which is uh, all of this good-looking blue stuff. Uh, can I sliver out? A, if I could sliver out a road there... That would be a decent place for a depot. Or I could go against my uh, my very principles of living and use a bus stop. I don't want to do that. 50 grand to delete a building. But my principles remain intact. Well, okay. Or it's like 10 grand for a for a depot for a for a bus stop. No principles are ah, principles. We're gonna we're gonna stick with that. Uh, no extra deletion, please. There we go. Right, it's ugly, but again, we are still we're living in temporary times here. Um, so uh, so all being well, uh, I'll be replacing this eventually. All right, let's just give myself enough space here to stick another depot in. Which all don't cost money, right? Well, this is actually this is a station. It's not a depot, so this possibly will cost money. 
Right, so that's uh, that's Brienne's taken care of. Where's uh, where's Sarnen? Sarnen's over here. We need to we need to service its commercial district, and well, that's the obvious space. But I don't much I don't much like it. I don't think there's enough space there. Possibly bulldozing this chap's house might be the might be the route to happiness here. Another fifty grand, just to keep your principles intact. Painful. Uh, right, that's, uh, and even then I'm not entirely sure I've got enough room. Uh, come on, come on, you'll get in there. You'll, you'll get in there. You won't get in there. Try and get in there. We can do this. This will fit. It'll fit. I won't have to bulldoze anything else. Keep your finger away from the mouse button. We don't want to do anything accidentally. If we decide to bulldoze, it needs to be a decision not uh, a poor piece of reflex action. I don't want to spend a hundred grand on it. I do not. Come on, come on. I don't think it can do it. I don't think I can do it. I think I just spent 50 grand for nothing. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? Uh, right, it's gonna cost another hundred grand to bulldoze that one as well. But it's not gonna get any better, get it done. Uh, right, there we go. So that's got good coverage as well. So that's two drop-offs with good coverage, and then we just need uh, a train line like that. And that's going to be nice and quick. Um, so uh, let's uh, do this. And all of this is going to get changed. It's all going to get... I'm going to I'm gonna have to redo all of it at some point. So that station is what you want. Good station. There we go. And we'll go terminal to terminal to terminal. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll keep it nice and short because it doesn't need to be a long one given the uh, the frequency of delivery we're likely to make. But I am not liking the look of uh, of the curvature there. So we'll have to pull along there somewhere. Uh, let's uh, hold hold on. We've got a new vehicle available. There's another Russian number. Well, the, the Russians are already doing pretty well uh, in in the sense that uh, they've got a pretty fast train in service already, so uh, they can they can just hang on. Uh, we might have a look at it. We might not. Uh, right, where are we? Ninety grand, and that's going to put quite the kink at the end of the track. But as you can see, the the greater the angle we put on here, the uh, the worse things get as far as cost is concerned. So I uh, I am cost. Uh, Cost sensitive right now, so we'll spend as little as possible on that, uh, and then at the other end, we'll get it as close to the uh, as the uh, as close to the farm as we can uh, to make the pickup like that. Eighty thousand. Uh, that's more like it, because we don't want to go bulldozing fields, because that's a good way to empty a bank account immediately. Uh, right. If we just whack that in the easy way, that's. 92 and change. All right, I've seen worse. Uh, right, okay, that leaves me needing another loan in order to get that set up at least. Um, in, uh, while we're at it, we're gonna need a depot here uh, for the carts. 21,000 for a depot is pretty standard. Okay, right, uh, oh, and then we need another depot for the trains, obviously, uh, well, train singular. There we go. No, that's that's not that's not caught. There we are. Right now, all of this is going to put a big dent in my becoming solvent. Uh, but uh, you know, yes, I know I've cheaped out on the on the depot again. Let's have a look and see what we're talking about here. So uh, we're wanting something that's uh, that's relatively quick, but isn't going to cost me the earth to uh, to pick up in the first place. So running costs are all important. Uh, the Borsig at 36 a year isn't bad. Uh, this Baldwin at 28. Mm -hmm. The General's 52. Uh, I think I think the Borsig might be onto something here, you know. Uh, what about these Russians? 56, 50 some odd. But the extra hauling power uh, would mean that I could expand the train. Uh, without having to, to return it, but you know what? I'll, I'm going to go. I'm going to go cheaper to start with, um, 
and uh, and we'll see where that gets us. Now, obviously, the best thing we could have done with this train was have it uh, drop cargo back in the opposite direction, but we don't have that uh, the the luxury of that with the current map setup. Uh, so we're just going to have to we're just going to have to deal with it. So we'll go with a. Are we though? Yes, we are. We're going to go with the Borsig, right? And then on the wagon side of things, we want grain. Or do we want do we want livestock? I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Right, 80 kilometers an hour is much faster than we actually need, given the Borsig's nowhere near capable of that. Uh, we could go with this open wagon, which is also capable of 80. Or this gondola, 36 a year. Versus 20 a year, and it's almost double. The price is almost double too, but that's the smarter thing to, uh, to go for. Right, okay, uh, let's go for, uh, well, two is what we're going to afford right now. And uh, that's not going to do it. We're going to need more than, uh, no, we'll start with that, and then we'll upgrade it. Okay, good, right, pause. Assuming, of course, that this gondola can actually take grain. I, was, I, I didn't look. Oh, flipping heck. I, if I better have made a mistake here. Grain. No, we're good. Everything's fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Um, right. Set the line up. We will go from here to there. Right. So this is going to be, uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll brands this, B-R-Z uh, grain. Right, you get on it. Okay, now we also need deliveries. Um, now we're going to need, ooh, I don't know, a lot of wagons uh, that take it as far as here. And we'll get them stopping off on the way back, uh, given that they are agnostic in terms of what they carry, because that way they can carry food back here. Uh, also, they will be carrying food back here for further distribution onto Sarnen. Ha, huh. okay, interesting, because I don't know if this is going to work or not. Uh, right, so we go like this, right? We do a bit of that. Now, as far as routes are concerned, that's that's not horribly inefficient, although I might stick a bit of, a bit of extra road in to see if they prefer this as a, as a route, which they do. Um, fewer turns. Fewer turns are a good thing. Right, so... We go all the way out, drop it off, turn it around, bring it back. Some will get dropped off there. They might bring some more back to Brienne's itself. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. B R Z uh, food. And I guess this one's a shuttle. I guess. Uh, and then we need one more, which will go from. Uh, the same place, Brands East, and this will be uh, there, out to Sarnen. Yeah, okay, I can see this costing me a lot of money to keep running, but I'm hoping that my, my existing passenger services will cover it. Uh, Sarnen Food, uh, we'll have to, uh, we'll, we'll see, I suppose. Um, right, getting this, uh, getting the shuttle going first is the important bit, uh, so we'll turn that off, turn this on, buy some of these, no, 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 yes, buy goods vehicles, right, now we've got, we've got both of them to play with, a uh, bit of American, bit of European, but when it comes down to it, they both look exactly the same, they're not very quick, uh, let's go with, well, let's buy as many as we can, there we are, which is in fact three, uh, right, Brie ends uh, food shuttle. Okay, right, now, that'll be enough to get things moving initially. And it's going to be really interesting to see if this pays off or not. Uh, so there goes the train, and obviously the train's got to complete its route at least once before the farm starts delivering anything to the station. Uh, and the other end of the food line, so that, that cart service also needs to complete a full run uh, before the message will be sent up to the farm. Uh, that its goods are required. But given the size of these gondolas, I suspect they are not European in nature, because they are somewhat larger than the little engine that is tugging them along. You may complain all you wish in the comments uh, that right now I'm looking for cost-effective rather than aesthetic 
per se. Uh, right, let's give this a, a minute or two to bed in, and then I'll rejoin you and let you know where we're up to. Okay, here we go. So, uh, so here comes the Borsig with a full load, uh, just about to drop off here at the uh, at the good station in Briens. Um, I've uh, I've also bought now uh, another five coaches for the shuttle, five coaches, another uh, five wagons uh, for the shuttle, and uh, and three to uh, to potentially drop off in Sarnen. Um So the this, this chap sort is doing all right. Uh, we're 65 so far for the year, and obviously he had a uh, an empty run at the very beginning. Um, now I'm going to need more wagons on there in order to offset the, the running cost of the locomotive. That's the bit that's going to cost the money. So uh, so making sure that I've got, you know, uh, and probably another two wagons on there and that they are fully stocked uh, or fully loaded is going to make all the difference. Now, if we go, uh, if we go look in on our, on our wagon train, which will be running somewhere around here. Are you packing? I believe you are. There we go. You've got four on board. What about further up here? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, you're filling me with oh so much confidence. Really, was that that was that the first one that was actually carrying? It was the first one that was actually carrying. Okay, fine. Um, all right, so we'll uh, we'll we'll follow this chap along, shall we? Um, at very slow speed. Uh, but we can see that you know Brienz is quite the jumping little town, uh, despite the uh, the threat of avalanche from all of those hastily pasted uh, rocks on the side of the mountain. Um, uh, there's there's an awful lot of activity, plenty of outside dineries uh, going on for, for those of you who wish to go out of an evening uh, and, and marvel in the shadow of the near certain collapse of the top of this mountain uh, as, uh, as, as climate change really takes to bite and the ice melts uh, before all of those rocks come cascading down, destroying what was previously quite a... You no, know, there is no hope of me filling all the way on this journey. Get the lead out, son. Get out and help and push. Come on, let's get there a bit quick. I don't want to push the action button if I can avoid it. Oh, let's, stuff it. Let's, uh, let's get it to the depot. I want to see what it makes uh, on, a, on a single run, uh, and then we'll see if, uh, if that makes any sense at all over there. A longer period. Here we go. Making a drop off. And four grand. Well, okay. How much have you cost me so far? 500 quid. All right. I think that that's viable. So he's, he's dropped off. Hopefully, there we go. We've got food waiting. Food is now waiting. This is great. Now, the question is can he drop and pick up on the same run? Because if I would have thought so, I've seen it happen in the past. To see right not currently okay so so I let's see if this next one decides to uh, decides to knuckle under and, and pick up there we go picking up food picking up food excellent this is going to work now the next point of interest here is going to be when it gets to uh, when it gets to the interior of Brienne's uh, what are we going to do with the food do we drop it all uh, are we going to take some onwards, which is what I'm kind of hoping happens, um, because until we can uh, until we can run this with uh, with trucks that I, that you know that have good capacity, good speed, um, or better still, trains, uh, this this kind of you know double stop effort that we're putting in right now is uh, is pretty critical. Uh, now I could set up a second route going direct from the uh, the station pickup to the uh, to the to the food manufactorium, um, and uh, and having two routes would mean that you know the paths will not cross. But anyway, let's see what have we got. Right, you dropped off all of them. Yeah, to be fair, that was that was expected. I don't know why he has to hang around though. I'm filling out paperwork, I suppose. What have you got? You've still got two on board. This is good. This is good. Right, excellent. That means we will also have... Uh, follow that truck. Uh, we will also have goods waiting to go onwards to Sarnen. Uh, this is this is exactly what we wanted to see. Um, 
I would be very surprised if both of these lines were, were profitable in the fullness of time. My expectation would be that the, the Sarnan route uh, ends up costing me quite a lot to keep running. Um, but uh, we do have, you know, some example of this coming close to being, uh, being operational now. And we've got 34 food waiting, which means I need more wagons. There you go, you just took nothing at all, because here comes the first food load. Unless I got ahead of myself. No, I didn't. There we go, there's some food being dropped off. Right there. Perfect. Okay, good. Right. And I've got 500 grand in the bank. Let's pay the loan down a little. This is more like it. Okay, so we're up to 1.32 million at the year at the start of December. I would expect it to be a fair bit higher than that by the time we get round to the year end. Because uh, obviously if I haven't made more this year despite running more services, uh, then, you know, something is, something is going most heinously wrong. Uh, and the final score was 147 something has gone most heinously wrong uh good to see the tram picking up a little bit obviously railroad uh it very much depends on how far along your route you are um as to you know whether you make good cash or not but there we go the brienne's route is now making cash in every direction uh at every stop along its route so that fills me with with a reasonable amount of confidence and it was just railroad where i lost out last year Okay, well, we'll, well, we can live with that. Uh, but, you know, losing 67,000 uh, per year is, is no way to live. Uh, we're just going to have to see how this route pans out. Uh, how are you doing there, fella? Last year, 24,000 in profit. So adding an extra wagon on there would do it. But here's the news that we were expecting, is that uh, we're now starting to get road vehicles... Uh, in need of replacement and uh, and if we don't do it then they're going to wipe out every last penny of profit that they make uh, with running costs so if we have a quick look at the uh, at the Profitron uh, Wolfenschiessen to Ennitbergen yes that's what it's called uh, 132 uh, Locarno Burn 132 fine uh, Van Toots to Ingebul, uh, 91. Okay, I suppose. Uh, the shuttle on 31 and a half. Excellent. Uh, the grain train uh, is doing me 24. Uh, who's costing me money? As expected, Sarnan food is costing me money right now, but it hasn't actually picked up any food yet, so I'll allow it. Um, but we are, given the, the lifespan of these vehicles, we are now well into... Uh, replacement season so let's uh, let's get replacement season underway uh, and uh, and then we'll we'll worry about where to go after that after that uh, right I'll get this set up while you're elsewhere doing something productive with glamorous people uh, I'll be back very soon with a little more of the same I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode chuck a like at it if you did subscribe if you want to make sure you're around for the next one and I'll be back very soon with yet more of the same Thanks very much for watching. I've been Colonel Failure. Cheerio.